In our foundation, we, we lost about 30% of our assets from the top of the market to the bottom of the market. And now we've made back about 15%, but all the time we carried on spending. So in the grand scheme of things, um, it could have been much, much worse. The thing that was most important to us was that the trustees held their nerve, they didn't change their policies, and they um, kept spending as they should have done. And the consequence of that now, I think, is that they're more confident in dealing with volatile markets. The implications of the crisis for our investment policies were basically that things played out much as we expected them to play out. The one area, there was one area um, which was worrying me, and that was the, the people who were holding our cash. And whereas we'd always chosen the safest of safe banks, the safest of safe banks turned out to be things like the Royal Bank of Scotland. So the lesson we learnt from that was uh, trust the government. So we now hold the money in UK government stock instead. But the whole strategy was based around having enough cash to last for five years without any difficulty. So that underpinned our approach to I think it would have been very unusual for any board of trustees facing a 30% loss in their assets not to stop and think what's just happened or what is happening and how much worse can it get. So the measures we took were to promise to review it regularly and to take action if things started to get worse. And they didn't, fortunately, but if they had got worse, we would have behaved in a very different way, I suspect.